Hey guys, and welcome to Homegrown Herbs. So today, I thought it a better time than any to actually do a little video because I never realised I hadn't done a video on uh, upper respiratory tract infection, so commonly known as RI. Um, some point in your reptile hobby career, you will come across it. Um, so if, I'd like to say it'll never happen. It's similar to mites. It, it will always happen in, at some point. If you have a large collection, at some point it may happen to you. So. I just want to sort of prepare you and give you a good understanding on how to deal with it before you go that next step to the vets. Obviously your vet is your main priority, but if you try these first, if it doesn't work, then go straight to the vets and give them a call. So I'm going to give you some hints and tips on little things I do to help with it. The main thing I find um, with RI is that there's a temperature drop. That's the main time I find that they tend to have RI. Um, unless it's brought in off another snake and they tend to contract it that way. So I had a uh, snake previously, uh, been about two weeks now, went missing out of his tub. He actually managed to pull one of the tubs, we don't know how, but he managed to pull the tub forward and actually escape. He was out for around a week, um, might have been about seven, eight days. We actually found him um, and when we picked him up, straight away he got like a bubbly wheeze. Um, so he's got no mucus or anything, but he has got a bubbly wheezy noise. So we are going to start treating him. We have started treating him for RI, and I'm just sort of going to go through that process with you. Now, a lot of people do do something very similar. Um, I just add a couple of little different things. So steaming them is always the best way to do it, with a nebulizer or just with hot water, anything like that. So we will walk through that and go through it. Now, main key things you're going to need is a large solid sealed tub. You don't want to have any leaks or holes or gapes in it. Within that, you're then going to need a tub to put your, your little um, ointments and that in, and your hot water. You're then also going to need another tub to secure the snake into. Now that tub needs to have ventilation. It needs to have holes in it. So I use a three liter Bray Plus tubs that tend to have the holes already in the tops of them. Um, and that allows them to breathe that in without actually having direct contact with the hot water. I also then put something heavy. Um, I also use um, another Bray Plus tub then with some uh, hydro balls in that I use for the frogs for the um, sort of filtration. Just heavy enough so you can't push it off basically. Some people use the really useful tubs 5 litres and just snap the thing shut. Just make sure that they're solid, they're in there and they can't get out and there's no chance they're going to get scalded or burnt. So with that in mind, um, I will show you the two little things I use when I'm doing it and I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy, don't forget like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Don't forget I'll always give you notifications then of when our next one's due to upload. I will be trying my hardest to try and do some more uploads and also try and do some more little hints and tips as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay people, so what I'm going to show you is sort of the basics of how I do things uh, just to help with the RI. To be fair, I have found this a really effective way of doing things, um, and it always works quite well with me. So what you want to do is you want to start off with a nice clean tub. Just make sure you've anti-backed all the tubs. Everything that you're going to use needs to be anti-backed before and after. You don't want to be making them breathe in any dirty particles, and um, that's the last thing you want, especially if you've got stagnant water and stuff like that. That's the last thing you want. So first things first, you want this stuff. Just your simple vapor rub nothing crazy and all you're going to want to that is about a quarter of a spoon half a spoon at the very most and the other little key ingredient i use is this stuff this is pure eucalyptus oil now i'd say cheap for what it is it's like six quid a bottle something like that but i honestly swear by this stuff it's brilliant these two together nine times out of ten i can get them sorted at home without having any problems so you get your holding tub for your snake to go in. Your other tub here, you're just going to literally drop in about a quarter of a spoon into there. Doesn't have to be massive, special, it's just round about a quarter of a spoon. And with this, I literally drop in about four drops, five drops at the max. And then all we're going to do is just literally pop the snake in, drop a lid on, and then fill this with boiling water, and then chop the big lid on top. Let it sit for about 
15, 20 minutes. I'll just get the boy in question. Right. Hello, little man. So, as you can hear him, I've had a little wheeze. This is a leopard yellow belly, 100% hepoid. Well, he's actually pos het, but with the beautiful little ringer he has got on him, I'd say that het is going to prove out. I'll try to show you the marker now. There. So, we'll just drop him in there. Drop a lid on. And then, obviously, if you've got a snap lid, that's fine. I'll just drop some heavy on just so they can't get out. Drop yourself some hot water in. bag your lid on make sure the lid that you, the box that you use is nice and taut there's nothing that's able to escape so it'll build up that nice vapor in there 15 20 minutes take the snake out give him a nice clean over then pop him back in his tub with all this as i say you've got to clean everything out after don't leave nothing um stagnant or stale or anything like that make sure you are cleaning before and after it is really important with the um, tub that it's sitting in, I even turn it to tissue, I change everything out. I don't leave nothing to chance. Now, a lot of people um, sort of do this and then they'll leave it a day, two days, sort of that sort of thing. I will do it pretty much every day. If I don't do it every day, it's every second day until I see a significant difference. If I don't see a difference after around two weeks, that's when I'll be calling my, re my resident vet um, which me personally, I use Marie um, Walsall Black Vets. Um, she's the main vet for Drayton Manor's uh, Zoo. She's a fantastic woman, I cannot fault her. But I do find this works nine out of 10 times. It's very rare I have to take them there or they do need vet help. So I hope guys this helps. Um, anyone has any advice or any guidance for me in any other ways of doing things, I'm always up for it. Hit the comments down below. If you like it, don't forget, like, subscribe, share it as far and wide as you can. As always, guys, take care, keep smiling, and let's teach, not preach.